Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about demand forecasting. So what do you mean by demand forecasting? In that last session we had discussed <coughs> the words of Kandip and still demand forecasting an estimate of sales during a specific future period based on proposed marketing plan and a set of participating uncontrollable and competitive forces. So demand forecasting enables an organization to take various business decisions such as planning the production process, purchasing raw materials, managing funds, and deciding the price of the product. An organization can forecast demand by making own estimates called guest estimate or taking the help of specialized consultants or market research agencies. Methods of demand forecasting. So what are the methods of demand forecasting? Opinion polling method, statistical method. So under the opinion polling method, consumer service uh, survey method, sales force opinion method, experts opinion method. So under that um, statistical method, trend projection method, barometric method, regression method, simultaneous equation method. So consumer survey method under that complete enumeration survey, sample survey and test marketing end use. So trend projection method under that Fitting trend line by observation, least square linear regression, time series analysis, moving average and annual difference and exponential smoothing. So these are the methods of demand forecasting. So qualitative techniques are opinion polling method. In this method, the opinion of the buyers, sales force and expert could be gathered to determine the emerging trend in the market. Suited for short term demand forecasting, demand forecasting for new product can be made by qualitative techniques. The opinion polling method of demand forecasting are of following kinds. Consumer survey method, sales force opinion method, Delphi method. So these are the qualitative techniques, opinion polling method. We will see one by one. Consumer survey method, we are going to conduct a survey and you have to collect the data to find out the solution. Survey method is one of the most common and the methods of forecasting demand in the short term. In this method encompasses the future purchase planning consumers and their intention. In this method, an organization conducts surveys with consumers to determine the demand for their existing product and services and anticipate the future demand accordingly. So survey method include complete enumeration survey, sample survey and test marketing and end user. So what do you mean by complete enumeration survey? In this method records the data and aggregate the consumers. The data is wrongly recorded and demand forecasting going wrong then this method will be totally useless. So, sample survey and test modeling. What do you mean sample survey? For example, if you're having 100 customers enter into the hotel, so what about that uh, related to the feedback for the particular hotel? You will get positive as well as negative because we are going to collect only the, uh, out of 100, you can uh, collect only 10 samples. So in, the, in this 10 samples, maybe whether it will be right or wrong. That is a sample survey. Only few customers selected and they use collector based on the assumption that the sample truly represents the population. This method is simple and does not cost much. The main disadvantage is that the sample may not be a true representation of the entire population. End use method. End user is nothing but a person using the particular product. So this method focuses on forecasting the demand, intermediary goods. Under this method, the sale of your product are projected to survey of its end users. Example, milk is a commodity which can be used as an intermediary good. So it's uh, intermediary as uh, nothing but linking. So some, uh, some important, I mean that intermediary means it's a very, very important. For example, if we take it as a milk for the production of ice cream, and other dairy products. For example, if you're going to manufacture a chocolate or uh, anything, you need milk. So milk is a very important ingredient. So sales force opinion method. In this method, instead of consumers, the opinion of salesman is short. It is also called as grassroots approach. So in this method, we are going to, the main advantage is collecting data from its own employees. It's easier for your firm then to do it from external parties. The main disadvantage is that the sales force may give bias. Bias means uh, error. 
unbiased without errors so biased reviews as the projected demand affects their future job prospects so, so these are the methods of uh, demand forecasting uh, so next class we are going to discuss about in depth in salesforce opinion method thank you all for watching thank you all